So today we're going to be converting the exe which we made in the last episode from a node file. We're going to be making an install for that. So what you need for making this installer is that you need Nullsoft scriptable install system. What this is is programming language where you can write an installer in. Okay, I know that sounds really complicated, but it's not that complicated. So if you haven't seen the last episode, I will include down below, by the way, we took this application here, which just hosts this basic website from a node application and converted it into an exe. Now, what we're then going to be doing today is converting that exe into an installable file. So the files we have right here is our main file, so our exe, and then we have a license text, and then we have our image. And we're going to be taking this and making an installer. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is just how to make it from a zip file. So to do that, we have to compress the files into a zip file. Now, if you don't have RINRA, then use whatever software you can make a zip file in. I will just pick a zip file here. And now my app is a zip file. And then what I'm going to do is open this Nullsoft scriptable install system and then just install based on zip file. Then I will just drag in the zip file and you can see it gets the files and I can name it here. Now I want to name this hello world. We'll go with the modem interface. Default folder is just fine. And we want to output this as hello world. The compression is just going to stick with the default and then press generate. And then you can see that we generate this hello world.exe. So if we just close this, you can see we have this hello world.exe. So my folder structure is that I have this empty folder here where we'll install the application. In. So I'll just copy the directory here and go back into the folder and double click this installer. And then I have this destination. I will just paste in my destination. You could obviously pick the default and we'll press install and close. And there you have your files. Now, if that was all you wanted to do, well, you're done. But if you want to see a more complicated example where we're actually going to integrate this license text into the installer, then continue watching. So I will just clean this up by deleting this data in here. And delete this and this. Since this is a scriptable installer, that means that there is a programming language. I'm not going to be showing the programming language in great details, but I will show you a very simple file and how to compile it and run it. And no, you do not have to learn the programming language because there's actually a nice graphical user interface to generate this code. Now in here, I have a scripts folder. And in here, I have two files. The first one is the basic script I want to show you. And we can just open that in Visual Studio Code or whatever editor you would like. And you can see that the file is pretty basic. So it's a .nsi file. The first parameter specifies the name of the installer. And then we have this section. And then we create a message box with the word hello world. Very simple. This one here is the one we're going to be generating. So we don't have to write all this code, but you certainly could go in and modify all this code to really make sure your installer is doing the right thing. So you can go in here and edit all of the code. Then you can change all of the properties. That is what is nice about this, that you can have the nice user interface that can generate this code for you as a good starting template, and then you can modify it as much as you want. Let's compile this basic one here and see how that works. So before we use the zip file, now we're going to be using the compiler up here. And we're just going to drag in the file here. And very quickly, it makes a executable. If we go ahead and double click that, you can see all it does is just says hello world. And then the installer is done. So now let's go over the graphical user interface to generate a more complicated script. What you want to download is this. I will leave the link down below, but it's called the NSIS Quick Setup Script Generator. I will leave a link down below. It's just a simple zip file and you will just extract the content to whatever folder you want and then double click on this installer. And then you will get this wizard here. Let's just press next. Then you want to name the name of your project. I will just name it Hello World. 
and then you get a bunch of options. So the name of our application will be Hello World. The company will be Vincent Lab. And the website will just be vincentlab.net. Under copyright, we'll just paste my copyright info here. And the application description will just be this basic one here. It's just going to say a simple Hello World web server. And we'll just say the version will be 1.000. Now here, we can include a license file. So you want to navigate to the folder where your content is. So this would be this folder in here. And just make sure that your license is a .txt file. Pick the option for install for current user and language English. Next, you can allow people to change the directory name. And I will just do that. Now, the main exe is important. That is the main executable you have. And in my case, this is main.exe. Then add additional files. Now, this one is a bit confusing. I got it wrong the first time. So you would assume that, well, I want my images. So I will just include this images folder here. That's not the way it works because this will actually put the image in the same directory as the exe. So what you want to do is actually just include your main application folder here. And that will then include this images folder with the images inside of. Now I'll just paste that in. Include subdirectories. I will also do that just in case I won't add any additional install files. Start menu folder name. I will just name that hello world and I will create a shortcut as well. Add an uninstall application shortcut. I won't do that. Allow users to change folder name. I will do that. And then this one is just so when the install is done, if you want a little question mark, do you want to run the application when you press close? And I will. So this one is also important as well. This is the output directory. I will output the exe in the same folder as my project and I will call it setup.exe. Exe is important because it's not going to let you name it unless you name it .exe. Save compiled script for future edit. And we'll just do that. And you can actually see the script here. And we'll press generate. And this will write all of the code for you. And all done. And if we just close this, you can see that we get both the script and the setup file. So if you in the future wanted to compile the script file, well, all you would do is actually just open the script compiler here and just drag in your script and it would then run all of that. And you can then edit the script to tail your needs. Now I will just double click the installer here and you can see it popped up here. You can actually see it says, welcome to hello world setup. And then you get a little guide. Then you can see we get our license here. That would be whatever that would be in your license.txt file. Then this is the install directory. I will again pick my custom install directory here. Press next. And we'll name it hello world. And this is the one where I said you could get a check mark, run hello world. And when you press finish, hello world will then run. And you can see hello world runs. And if we then access our website, you can see that the page is actually loaded. Now let's close this and you can see we also get a little link up here to our website. So if we double click this, we would open our website and we get an uninstall. So you can see that if I just double click this here, that completely uninstalls our folder. Okay, so I hope you learned how to make an installer for your application and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.